Star Wars 7 by 7 episode 2616. Happy September to you. It's September 1st, and so let's talk about what we have to expect from the world of Star Wars storytelling this month. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So as with every month we're going to check in on all 12 categories and there's not necessarily anything to report in all 12 categories but we'll just check in on them all the same and we'll start as we usually do with the movie situation. So of course the movie that is most proximate to us is Rogue Squadron which is supposed to come out in December of 2023. There hasn't been anything new really announced with that and there's not necessarily an expectation that something new is coming in the month of September. However, looking back at the timeline for the development of The Force Awakens, this is a time period that you know stuff is definitely happening behind the scenes. Pre-production stuff is in full swing and what should be happening right now is the hiring of people who supervise the major departments so costume design production design visual effects special effects that sort of thing the director of photography should be you know being considered if not already hired and just not yet announced supervising sound editors and sound designers like all of those folks should be you know in the mix right now and back in July, they had said that a script was nearly finished. And if the script is finished, which, you know, we haven't heard any confirmation about that one way or the other, but, you know, it's been a couple of months since that particular tidbit came out. So if the script is finished, then they are at a place where they can start considering casting. And again, based on The Force Awakens timelines, we're not necessarily going to know anything about the casting until next year, but they're at the place where if the script is finished, they can start ramping up their whole casting process. And not too long ago, we talked on the podcast about the possibility that based on where the script writing stands with Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie and Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie, that maybe it's possible that the two could swap places in terms of which one is coming next. So, you know, that's still obviously an open question. As far as live action goes, well, Robert Rodriguez, who directed the Boba Fett episode of The Mandalorian Season 2 and who is now in the showrunner and director of many of the episodes of the Book of Boba Fett, did an interview recently for something else, and you know how this goes. If he's involved with Star Wars, he'll get asked about Star Wars, and he did say that the Book of Boba Fett will be debuting in December, so yes, in 2021, as advertised by uh, Bob Chapek, who is the CEO of Disney. And all Robert Rodriguez will say is that he believes that it will over-deliver and that it's going to blow everyone's minds, which is, of course, a fantastic thing to hear, <laughs> naturally. And as far as that timing goes, I don't think... Well, you know, we still don't know how many episodes The Book of Boba Fett is supposed to be, but I don't necessarily think it interferes with the thoughts that, you know, we talked about on the Kenobi and Andor timelines for 2022, potentially, right? I think... If the Book of Boba Fett launches in December, that it still will have enough time to run for then and or to have a late winter, early spring start. I'm sorry, Kenobi to have a late winter, early spring start and then get all the way through before Celebration Anaheim in May and then and or going in the summer. And so for the month of September, hopefully confirmation coming that the Kenobi series and the Andor series have finished their principal photography. That would be great to hear. And I think, you know, it's definitely, you know, I don't want to say overdue in the sense that, you know, we're demanding to know these things or that we have a right to know or anything like that. But gee whiz, it would be nice to actually get official confirmation about that. Then on the animation side of things, we have Star Wars Visions debuting later this month on September 22nd, along with bonus featurettes, and Visions is coming out in both the original Japanese language version and the English dub version, which is very cool. And that, of course, is coming to Disney+. Plus. And speaking of Disney+, Plus, as far as the streaming category goes, yes, I know animation is streaming on Disney+, Plus, but what I mean by streaming is stuff like, you know, vehicle fly-throughs and biomes and other little special things that they pop on there. And we don't have any word about anything coming in that regard. So, yeah, you know, we'll just have to wait for Star Wars Visions to drop. 
In the books space, there are a couple of books coming. One is targeted toward younger readers and one toward older readers. The younger readers one is the Rebel Hero Journal. And this is one of those studio fun journals. We have talked about them from time to time on the show, but haven't really dived in to any of them. But basically, it is an in-universe journal that is written by Leia and by Ahsoka and by Rey. And so it's giving their perspective on heroism in their own particular situations and that's coming out toward the end of the month. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, that's coming out September 14th. Coming out toward the end of the month is something called The Odyssey of Star Wars, and it's a retelling of Rogue One and the original trilogy in the style of an epic classical poem like The Odyssey or Beowulf or something like that. And that sounds kind of intriguing. That's coming from Abrams' books. And then, you know, I'm not sure whether to put this one in the books or short stories category, but it is the Star Wars Life Day Treasury. And it's in the vein of Star Wars Myths and Fables and Star Wars Dark Legends. Those were written by George Mann, and this one is co-written by George Mann and Kevin Scott and comes out on September 7th. And it's a collection of eight short stories about various life day traditions. I don't think it's getting an audiobook, actually, unfortunately. It seems like it would lend itself to that pretty well and, you know, kind of an evocative storytelling, basically. But, eh, you know, be that as it may. There's only one audiobook thing that's coming out this month, and it's part of the Essential Legends collection. The second wave of those is dropping also on September 7th. And the audiobook that's coming as part of that is the Rogue Squadron book by Michael Stackpole and it's being done by Mark Thompson, narrated by Mark Thompson. And in addition to that book coming out as part of the Essentials Legends, the Essential Legends collection for Wave 2, they're also releasing the other two books in the Thrawn trilogy, Dark Force Rising and The Last Command, and also the second book in Drew, I'm sorry, Drew Carpishian's Darth Bane trilogy, which is called Rule of Two. And then circling back around to the short story thing, Star Wars Insider is publishing their second omnibus collection of short stories as well, stuff from previous issues and whatnot. But I think we're probably going to get the first uh, installment of a new High Republic story in Star Wars Insider magazine, assuming that's coming out this month. All right, so what else we got? On the virtual reality front, nothing except hopefully some announcement about when the Tales from the Galaxy's Edge Part 2 will be released. On the video game front, no news expected necessarily, but you know we did find out finally that LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga will be coming in spring of 2022, which is great. On the experiential side, which is you know getting into parks and whatnot and uh, events like Star Wars Celebration, there hasn't been any news announced about Celebration for a while, and there's barely anything on the website at all. So that's got to be coming at some point. And I saw that annual passes are going to be available at you know, Disney Parks again starting, uh, I think, September 8th is the date. So, you know, more access to Star Wars stuff once again in that particular fashion. No merchandise stuff to report as far as I know. And... Um, Comics. That's the other thing where, you know, there's always a lot going on with comics. And so uh, there is a High Republic thing happening that's, you know, comparatively new. It's the Monster of Temple Peak. That's the you know, origin story of Ty Yorick. The, you know, uh, what's the word? You know, the Blade for Hire. Right, that's what I'm looking for. Anyway, so issue two of that is coming out. Also, the regular High Republic number nine, the High Republic Adventures number eight. And also the manga, The Edge of Balance, is coming out this month. Volume 1 of The Edge of Balance. And then for the regular Marvel titles, there's Star Wars number 17 and Bounty Hunters number 16 and Darth Vader number 16 and Dr. Aphra number 14. The War of the Bounty Hunters thing is continuing. Issue number 4 is coming out for that and a one-shot around Boosh is happening as well this month. And then over with the IDW stuff, there is Star Wars Adventures uh, 9 and 10 and there's also the Ghosts of Vader's Castle, which is now this annual sort of haunted house kind of thing that Captain and Scott does with IDW and issues one and two are going to be coming out for that this month as well. So yeah, Kevin Scott is a busy, busy person with releases this month between co-writing the Life Day Treasury and the Marvel Star Wars series and the Monster of Temple Peak and Ghost of Vader's Castle. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff going on this month. And that's what I've got going on for you with this episode, giving you a preview of Star Wars storytelling and other Star Wars related events that are scheduled for the month of September as we know them right now. And as news breaks, of course, we will check in on 
it all and put it into context and explore even more here on the show. So there you go. That's going to do it for today's episode. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars-related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, but their respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.